Right, here we are, Korean Bay Cemetery for another, uh, I wouldn't call it an adventure, more like you know, historical, um, I don't know, family and monuments and historical graves, I think. Now, I've been looking at graves that are sort of broken and um, Alice and Caroline and Henry Langdale um, was one I found. It was sort of submerged in all these pine needles and kind of forgotten, which we don't want. So they can rest in peace. We'll try and do something with these later. And this one here, the Kerr. 18, 1909. These are really old. There's a few under these trees that are being sort of covered up. And we put um put a uh, a poppy here for uh, Leslie Os Leslie um, Oscar who uh, passed away of the 52nd Battalion AIF, killed in action in France. And uh, thank you for your service, service done. And the Rollins family. Someone's looking after this grave, which is nice. There's, there's a lot here that have not got markers, you know? And you gotta be careful where you walk, so don't like walking on graves. And there's another one here, Ruby. Ruby and George. I think she's only like 12, I think. So these need to be cared for a lot more. They're historical. You know. And the Hope family. Kerr's, William Kerr and Mary. And Ellen Smith. So sad the uh, wording on some of these. Frank Henley Pryor, 20 years. 29 years or something. It needs to be uh, sort of fixed up there. There's another one that we found. It was completely buried. It's amazing this tree would have been here. It's a really old tree when they were being buried. 1893. And these words are from the family from the past. Echoes of their love, I would say. There's another one. No date, just a marker with his initials SFP. I mean, they would have the records of the people buried here, hopefully. Anne Marie, 1892. Come up here. <coughs> There's a soldier, Clinton Octavia Smith of the Australian Imperial Force. We gave him a poppy too. And it's Henry Wright and Mononora Wright. Let's uncover that a bit. And Robert Tensley. Uncover, uncover that. That's Freeman. Mary Freeman and William Freeman. I mean, we're not ghost hunting. Um, we're here to document the graves, basically, and the history. But if you hear anything or any messages, just let us know. That's James Paul. 
there's an army grave here. I'll have to get a poppy for them. So I can... I nurse an icon. So it's Lieutenant Icon, the 5th Field Artillery Brigade, 22nd of June, 1925, until the day breaks. And there's the Icon family names here. I'll put a flower on this soldier. And uh, there's Edward Naylor. There's a 26th Battalion along here. Um, we put a flower earlier. There's some flowers there. And this beautiful angel I love, this angel. So amazingly carved all the way. Um, my son and I are going to try and get this angel to stand up. This is uh, Thomas Riley, 26th Battalion AIF, killed in September, which uh, the two months before um, my son's relative, Corporal Alan Pitt, was killed in action in 1916 in Poissier at the Maze. This is uh, my son and I will try and stand the angel up for him. It's fallen off the pedestal, this angel. And it's smashed through the retainer. Yeah, because there's subsidence there. There's two here I want to show. Really amazingly carved stones. Sealed in Robert Harriet Midson. Rest in peace, all of you. This is unusual. If anyone knows what that symbol means, um, just let me know. Frank 